Toxic Lies Society Tells Us 1. Looks Don't Matter We're often told good-looking people don't have advantages in the workplace or when it comes to dating. We're lead to believe good-looking people don't have an easier time making friends. If you're unlucky in the looks department you will have a harder time getting that promotion you want. Ugly guys are more likely to be seen as creepy when they take the initiative and ask a woman out. If an ugly female asks a guy out, she will more likely be ridiculed. If you're ugly, most people have a tendency to think of you negatively. If an ugly person is accused of a crime they are almost always guilty until proven innocent. Looks do matter. 2. Run the rat race. Before primary school. Once you'll start going to school, you'll make a lot of friends and enjoy learning along with them. What we get. That rowdy bully who hurts everyone for fun. Teachers who are hell-bent on ruining your childhood. Loads of homework which is not appropriate for children of that age. Before high school. Don't worry. The tedious part of school ends when high school begins. You'll be able to choose what you want to study there. What we get. Lack of guidance to choose your interest field of study. Growing regret for your chosen field of learning. Stress for consistently performing well to get into a decent college. Dramatic effects of adolescence. Before university or college. The workload will reduce once you enter college. College days will be the best part of your life. The friends that you will make there will remain with you for life. What we get. Materialistic backstabbing peers. Exams, assignments, and quizzes throughout the academic year. Tiresome internships during the vacations. Relationships issues. Maintaining GPA. Polish your field-related skills. Stress for landing a decent job. Before your first job. Once you start earning, you'll finally be independent. You'll live life on your own conditions and have your own family. What we get. More materialistic peers. A cranky boss. Watching others get promoted on the basis of nepotism instead of performance. Being on the continuous lookout for better opportunities. Realization of the fact that life will only get tougher. Managing finances and family. 3. You can't be single and happy. The happiest and carefree people I know are those who have been single most of their life and have zero intention of ever being in a relationship again. 4. Education is the biggest factor in success. Yes, there are some jobs in which a certain level or path of education is required, but many people have proved that they can be successful without a perfect education. Obviously, not all dropouts or people without degrees are successful, but not all graduates are either. There is far more to success than education. 5. Building muscle is not necessary. At its root, all high-value male behavior is a show of surplus. Big muscles imply that you have a surplus of time, work capacity, food, and sleep to grow big muscles. Being healthy is a sign that you have enough money to spend on quality food. Having witty comebacks and game is a sign that you're not overworked or stressed and have enough excess mental capacity to waste on banter. You will never be relaxed, so long as most of your energy is being extracted from you. A sleep-deprived. Indebted overworked rat that shuffles back and forth from his 9 to 5 is very profitable and ideal for the company, but suboptimal for social life situations. You will never achieve surplus so long as you have the company on your back. The only way for you to get out of your situation is to reduce the amount of value that is being extracted out of you, so you can invest it back into yourself. 6. Wealthy people don't live in the real world. Many wealthy people grew up in lower to middle class families or even in poverty. But they found a way out in their way to financial success. Some of those wealthy people do forget where they come from. Yet many put their success down to where they came from. Not all wealthy people are just out for themselves. Many give back to society in a number of meaningful ways. Some like to shout about it and some do it quietly without making a fuss. 7. Poor people are lazy. Being poor isn't about laziness. Some people place more importance on family than wealth or career. They just want enough to put a roof over their head and food on the table. For many, less money means more time to spend with their loved ones. 8. The actions of some define a whole group. A terrorist commits a horrific attack, so all people of his religion are terrorists. No, a priest abuses a young boy. So all priests are pedos. No, there is rarely justification for judging an entire group by the actions of some. There are bad people from all walks of life. 9. Depression is just sadness. There are a lot of lies around depression we are lead to believe. But depression just being prolonged sadness is up there with it's not a real illness. When I had depression I was rarely sad. I felt empty. I wasn't particularly sad. But there was rarely any real happiness. I lost all interest in everything and I didn't really care. I basically became a zombie. 